Devices for Dignity is a national initiative which is funded by the National Institute for Health Research. And we look at how we can develop new technologies for patients to help improve their dignity and independence when they're living with long-term conditions. David D's approach to patient engagement is to work right at the start with the patient groups. The people are actually going to be using the products and say, is this what you need? How do you want it to look? What does it need to do for you? So it's really important to ask that question right at the start. More than that, it's really important to then take the patients on the journey with you. So the design process is an iterative process. They need to be there from the start, at the middle, and right through to the end when we think we've got the right final product. I often see devices that patients have been provided with, which have been the result of a very old-fashioned design process. What you tend to see is that the devices are in cupboards or under stairs, but never actually being used by the patients. User-centered design ensures that uh, the patients are key stakeholders in the final product and it's something that's going to be useful for them. There are many ways in which they can be involved in the innovation process. Capturing patients' experience through workshops, creative practices, creative processes and methodologies, making things, describing experiences through storyboarding and all sorts of other sort of methods in a similar kind of vein. Ultimately, it's about trying to capture ideas and experiences from those, from those patient participants. If patients can come and put their ideas forward and get recognised at an early stage in the development process, it means that we're all going to have an NHS service that's going to be beneficial to us all and going to meet everybody's needs. We are gradually getting there. You can see NHS England and other people starting to realise that they are ignoring the wealth of expertise that is present within the patients. We need to access that resource really intelligently. We must stop ignoring our patients, start involving them in an intelligent way so that we get the maximum, so that we get the best for them. As a service user, I did feel that I was able to talk about some specific experiences, tiny things that people wouldn't normally think of. But it was actually very gratifying to see the engineers and some of the students and others take that experience on board. And it then seemed that my experiences and my thoughts actually seemed to provide fodder for the design that carried on being created. Actually, as a user of this equipment, to sit down with those people who can design and make a difference and add my comments and my input into the next generation design, it's been, uh, it's been fantastic. So Devices for Dignity has a really innovative methodology where we co-develop solutions with patients and the public and by adopting that approach we try to maximise the impact that our work can have for patients and for society as a whole.